you know, Star Trek in general is a huge, like, um, you know, basically love piece towards, uh, you know, advanced formal socialism and communism, mm. you know, in a, in a post need society. I'm a huge nerd. So. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if you can't say it in the real world, you say it in science fiction because exactly. you can say a lot more. Exactly. <laughs> It's Wednesday, uh, Comedians Opening Cards, No Coffee, and I've got... Who do I have? Stephen Barton. Stephen Barton, and you've been doing comedy how long? About three and a half years. Wow, and how do you like the scene? The scene in Maine in general is awesome. Uh, Portland's a great little city to do comedy in. Um, yeah, I mean, we're up and coming. we got a whole bunch of really awesome acts coming through lately. And right. Yeah, I mean, people are putting on great stuff, and people are really working up here. It's great. How many times would you say you get up a week? Cool. So it really varies. I have twin four-year-old boys. I'm full-time parent too. Mm. Uh, but I usually, I'm usually like, there's a mic every night, but Friday and Saturday right now. Right. Uh, I can get up. I. Where's I the Monday one? Monday is over at Cheese Louise. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's we just right. started that one back up. That's uh, right. I usually get up three to four times a week on nice. mics, and then nice. I, I actually have two shows this week, two like two book shows this week. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, so a bunch of cards. I don't know if you see anything that Ooh, interests you. You I saw remember a Star what? Star Trek. Yeah, I saw a Star Trek. Oh, there might have been a Star Trek. Right yeah, and that's the original. Picture. Let's fucking go. I'm excited. Yeah, original motion picture, not yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. a TV show, because that's right. God. I wonder if they made cards for that. That would have been sixties. I don't know. Cause that was only like two seasons or something. Yeah, it was only it was only two seasons. I think it was only like combined like thirty five, almost maybe forty. Episodes, and they were going to cancel it, I think, after the first, and then there was yeah. a write in campaign. Ooh, look at that! Oh. Wow, and here is that original uh, from the Tribble uh, from sixty seven, but. Uh, my guy got this in 68. Uh, dear science fiction and fantasy fan, this is a campaign to save Star Trek. Your cooperation is needed to pass the word to friends, neighbors, clubs, readers. So, uh, yeah, it was a letter writing campaign to uh, save Star Trek that, that, that made it happen. And uh, there was even like a do's and don'ts list of things to do and do, do not do when you're writing to these people. And it was this writing campaign that saved the show. So, uh Words work. Love it. Oh, would you? Is that a something? Sometimes is a sticker, but I don't know. Oh, interesting. Check, check. Let's uh, see. The senior officers. Nice. I love it. Ooh, that's like a jet. Yeah, some kind of that's, plane. that's one of the. Uh, the oh, that's a cool one. It's actually like assault a on Chekhov. Actually, this is a good. This is a fun pack. Anton Chekhov. I can't believe yeah. he's in this. Advanced life form. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, portrait of a Vulcan. Oh wow, I like that. Show that one. Here's the camera. Let's see if we can. Oh, I like that. Nice. Leonard Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy. He made an album. Uh, yes, he did. Yeah. So did Ch they both did. So did Chetner. <laughs> they, they both, both did. made record <laughs> albums singing, I believe. Yes, Isn't that they crazy? Did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I think there's uh, there's some very old gum in here. Yeah. Carlo ate, ate it, which was nuts. A lot of people beat it. I don't know. Yeah, Carlo's going to do it. Oh, my God. Well, yours, this could be. I don't. The gum, if the alpha. You know, gum. if I put pennies in my mouth on skanks, I might as well put some gum from 40 years ago in my mouth. Oh, probably seven, eight people have eaten the gum. Not maybe all at once. The pennies look better. Yeah. Holy shit. It depends on the pennies have been. If they were in heaven, they might be good. Yeah, they were, they were, were throughout New York, so no. Yeah, that makes mm. sense. Oh my. Yeah. I'd spit it out, I mean, or drink or whatever. Because you don't want to, like, you don't eat it. But, I mean, you know. That's insane. I just ate it. All right. Um, yeah. So, uh, Not responsible, once again, I will say, for gum eating it, no. I mean, every, God, the oldest was a seven, two people have pulled it from 78. Yours is 79. That's the third oldest, and you're just going, too. Wow. It's really chalky. That's what I heard about the, the one that's a year older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah, chalky gum. Chalky. I've heard chalky on some of the early gum. Oh, heard... no, it's delicious. <laughs> it's got to be the worst thing in the world. It's 70, it's like, it's almost 50 years old. It's four. It's 40. turning more into a pixie stick. Oh, yeah. You're not stealing if you let us know, though. Okay, great. But, wow, are you happy with that decision? No, but I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not unhappy with it either. I have four brothers. I've eaten Stranger Things. Stranger Things. That's, that was a TV show. They made cards for that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I should get that. They're so expensive. I imagine that they are. And it's not even that old, but it's like a, a box of those is like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Oh, that's insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like these are less. The Star Trek is less than Stranger uh, Things. Yeah, like for the original it. movie. I believe it. Hey, just sign one for me yeah. and uh, you can let's keep go. those if you so let's desire. Go. Yeah, yeah. Let's pick one. Let's see. Uh, let's pick a good one. Oh, I think Beyond Infinity is a good one to add to the Oh, collection. wow. 
That's almost That's Infinity and Beyond from Toy Story. Yeah, exactly. Like they ripped it off from Star Trek. Who would have known? Rottenberg, what's his name? Gene Rottenberg. Gene Roddenberry. Yeah, and very uh, progressive. Oh, incredible. First, first uh, white black kiss, I think, yep, on TV. Yep. First interracial or, kiss. Yes. Uh, um, first interracial kiss on TV. He was an avowed, uh, I mean, you know, Star Trek in general is a huge, like, um, you know, basically love piece towards, uh, you know, advanced formal socialism and communism, mm. you know, in a, in a post need society. I'm a huge nerd. So. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if you can't say it in the real world, you say it in science fiction because exactly. you can say a lot more. Exactly, exactly. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. What was your name again? Stephen Barton. Stephen Barton. Nice to meet you. And hey, Bye. go see live comedy because that's where it's happening. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks so Dave. Much. Uh, that last guy was talking something about common or something, so uh... <laughs> Have you noticed older guys have a man cave while younger guys have a goon room? Whatever the name, similar things happen in both. I don't know how February, uh, I think it be the black month. Nor how June became the gay month. But I do understand why next month is pro Hamas. Can't you hear the chants? July, July, July. <laughs> I think the chicken crossed the road because you were choking it too much. It's got to be a hack joke, but uh, the chicken doesn't want it to be. A lot of stand-ups have uh, suicidal material. I wish they would take some of that material and hang themselves. I hey, double dog dare ya. The best suicide joke is the classic. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? It's the best suicide joke. Kegels almost make up for condoms. <laughs> New Hampshire's motto is, live free or die. It should be freedom. If you think you're free, you're dumb. Good evening, my name is David Bacon, and yeah, everything is better with me. Thanks for asking, ladies. Gentlemen, Three's Company. My five minutes might be too meta for this young crowd. I mean, that I'm useful. <laughs> I want to address the obvious elephant in the room, all these damn donkeys. That's my political joke. <laughs> Interesting which ones you laugh at. There seems to be a lot of conservatives who are against gender reassignment surgery for teens. But they're finding but they're fine with assigning all baby foreskins to the trash to the trash bin. And then, once the most pleasurable part on the male is removed, they seem surprised that some dudes move on to number two. And if you're unsure of where the second most pleasurable place on a male is, uh, number two is one hell of a clue. What's up here, 
I kind of do improv, but I don't do yes and. I do yes ampersand. Some people went to college. If you heard into tennis, I'm not into you romantically. Why won't you just value you love? This next joke uh, seems to resonate more with a younger crowd, and it's not about sounding. People sometimes seem repulsed when I tell them I don't mind foraging for food in the trash. And then I remind them, you eat ass. <laughs> and I'm gonna end with this. This is just a premise. <laughs> Collecting sneakers seems gay to me. Thank you very much.